So once you've connected to the My Passport Wireless Pro and connected to its Wi-Fi, you can connect via the MyCloud app or through the web browser by going to mypassport.local if you're on a Mac or My Passport in your web browser if you're on a Windows. A lot of WD users out there might be familiar with this menu system which can be seen in WD's other cloud drives and NAS drives as well. So taking a quick glance at the home screen right here, you can see the capacity capacity breakdown of everything on the drive so far and how much we have free as well as a battery indicator right here which is nice and large so you know how much battery you have left. The My Passport Wireless Pro is also connected to my Wi-Fi as you can see here but I've also opted out to share my network through my drive. Moving over to the Wi-Fi tab you can see who's connected to the drive as well as edit the Wi-Fi network in itself as well which does help. In the admin panel, you do have the option to turn on a password so no one can actually make any changes to the drive, which is in this little homepage right here. And this is automatically turned off. So it is highly recommended that you do turn that on if you are gonna have other users connect to the drive itself. And also allow access through SSH or FTP, which is also really great. As well, you do have the option to restore to factory settings, which is just the system only or the system and disk as well. Moving over to the hardware tab, you'll notice that the charge level right here is 92%. The power state, so it's currently discharging. And as well, you can optimize the drive in itself. So at the moment, we're through performance mode where it's actually using all its capacity. Or you can go into battery life right here, which actually disables the five gigahertz network band, which allows it to get better battery life. But we're gonna leave that unticked. Right here as well, you do have drive lock and drive lock actually enables the drive itself when plugged into a computer to just charge instead of mount itself as a hard drive. This is really great if you want to use the hard drive constantly as a wireless access point instead of actually automatically, you know, mounting itself as a regular hard drive as you lose all the functions to actually use through the wireless pro. From here as well, we can shut down and reboot the hard drive through the software, which is really great. And you can see here the media side of stuff, which does have the server side of things, which is really great. So we can actually go jump into Plex Media Server and configure this if we want. This is our Plex server right here where we can actually add and manage our media through here, which would then be dealt through, you know, your mobile devices or tablets. Now I don't want to go too much into Plex in itself as that's a whole new video and there's many tutorials out there how to set up Plex and use it really well, especially when you want to use it outside of your home as well and when connecting to your media. So let's jump back into the My Passport Wireless Pro tab and go from there. Moving over to the next tab, you can actually do test and diagnostics on the hard drive itself. I recommend doing this, you know, um, you know, I guess every few couple of months, just in case, just to check how the drive is going, because any sign of failure of the drive is highly recommend that you start backing up that drive straight away. Because this is a wireless drive and you may be doing backups on the go, it's just something to be careful with the drive itself because it is a moving parts and everything and you don't want to be using it while it's on in itself if you know what i mean like it's you just got to be really careful with it so uh just keep that in mind last but not least is the firmware tab now i highly recommend leaving auto update on because i remember on the my password wireless there was a few updates that came across which actually improved the drive in itself so i recommend keeping up to date with that when wd releases new updates for the drive make sure you update your drive so you can keep up to date with you know any problems or any other stuff that they might improve the drive in itself in working. 